Hey everyone, this time on Tim Talks Audio, we go over how to trigger certain parameters of a plugin with shortcuts. On one of my recent videos, Raja asked the question of how he can trigger a parameter of a third party plugin to be able to get switched, and he wanted to do it with a hotkey. Now, from my quick research, I don't know if there's a keyboard shortcut option yet, but that would be a great feature request. But I can also show you how to do it very quickly and easily with a fader port. And this works for any fader port option because they have user keys and you can assign certain parameters to user keys. So that's what we're gonna do. So let's dive into the DAW to take care of this half and then we'll take a look at the fader port. So here we are inside the session and in Raja's comment, he was asking about this plugin from Plugin Alliance, the adapter metric AB. This is a very handy tool because what it allows you to do is switch to the B channel where you can preload other mixes that you've done or other reference mixes inside your session and very quickly just go back and forth. You can listen to your mix, listen to your reference, listen to your mix, listen to your reference, and you can load in multiple references in all of these different slots. So you can just go through and say, you know what, I need to listen to the low end of this, the mid range of that, where are the vocals in this? This is a great plugin to have. I'm not going to load anything in because his comment was about triggering this AB action. We can do this and it's actually pretty easy. So we're going to close the plugin for now and we're going to open up the channel macro editor right here. That's this little button. When you open this up, it comes up blank and that's fine because that's what we need. Then we're going to edit it with the little wrench right here and I'm gonna edit button number one. And you can see, because I'm doing the channel editor on my mix bus, which is typically where you would put this plugin, I now have the controls for metric AB. Drop this down, and I want the AB switch. I wanna be able to trigger that AB to flip flop between my mix and my references. So I'm just gonna add the target in, and we're done here. That's it. If we turn the wrench off, now this switch will trigger that AB function. Let me show you, I'm gonna, I have this pinned so you can see it and I'll open up metric AB. So now watch the AB switch. Now without opening the plugin, I can go back and forth and listen to my references. We can do one even better. And if you have a fader port, the fader port classic, the fader port single, the fader port 8 or the fader port 16, you can assign this to a user key. And that is especially easy because you right click on it. And now I can say that I want to assign AB switch to user 3 on my fader port, which is connected and my system sees it. So now I've done that and watch this. So here we go. We're taking a look at my fader port and up here in the automation is the read button, but it's also user three. So to access this, all you have to do is press the shift button. And now I have the user three and watch the screen. I'm triggering my AB switch from my fader port. Now, whenever I'm mixing, whenever I'm really into it and I need that sense of balance, that sense of position, that sense of where my mix is going versus something that's already out there or versus something I've mixed previously, I very quickly and easily don't have to take my hands away from the fader port where I can very quickly set those levels. All I do is use the user key to trigger that switch. And you can do this for a lot of different things with many plugins. Maybe you wanna do like a master bypass of your mix bus processing. Assign that to a user key. There's lots of possibilities. Raja, I hope that answered your question and thank you so much for putting it into a comment to help feed this video that was for you and anybody else who's looking to do something like this. That's all for now. If you found anything informative, please like and share the video. For more, visit timflansbaum.com. And just like Raja, if you have a question, ask it in the comments and I'll answer it in a future video. Thanks for watching.